Well, now you're gonna see the most expensive vehicle on the planet. And the amazing thing is, it's housed in an ordinary garage. Literally, just like a garage you'd have at home. Hi, Jay. John, how are you? Thanks. Good, how you doing? Welcome to the Mars Yard. Thank you, thank you. And this is the Mars Rover, isn't it? This is it. This is what we call the VSTB, Vehicle Systems Test Bed, and it basically is the entire rover. And you're the driver, correct? I am one of the drivers, okay. yes. We have a whole team. We build command sequences ahead of time that tell it everything we want to do for the day. And then it goes about its business all by itself. And when it's done, it says, OK, here's what happened. Is there technology here filtering down to automobiles? There are image processing algorithms and things that are on here to look for hazards and things like that that can be adapted and used. We actually had one of our colleagues work on the uh, self-driving car. Can we drive this one? Is that possible? Um, the problem with driving this one is you have to build the command sequences the same way we do for the, the rover on Mars. Right. So we have a stripped-down model over oh, here. Oh, the strip of the base model. This, this is called Scarecrow, you This said? is called Scarecrow. Why is it Scarecrow? Because it doesn't have a brain. That's why they call me Scarecrow at the network. <laughs> I had no idea. So let's start with something simple. The top button in the middle there uh, oh. says forward five meters. This is the, really the workhorse of our mobility testing in the Mars yard. We do the vast majority of our testing with this, especially before we do anything with GSDB. You know, for two and a half billion dollars, I expect a little more horsepower, maybe some leather interior, but that's okay. Let's pick up the pace here. This is a show about going fast. Stop. Think, wow. So we're gonna aim to put it over some rocks. So here you're gonna see the vehicle ascend this rock that right. we've uh, placed in front of it. So you'll notice that one thing we try to do is when one side of a vehicle is going over a rock, right. we don't want the whole vehicle to start rolling. Right. So we have a differential on top of the vehicle, and that makes sure that when one wheel goes up on one side, the other goes down. OK, sure, it's a little bit slow, but incredibly efficient. And keep in mind, the real rover is doing this right now more than 249 million miles away on Mars, and believe me, far worse conditions. Jane Little's Garage. Premiere episodes Wednesdays at 10. CNBC. Get yours. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.